What a joy. In fact, John George, who's a well-known to our people out in uh, watching us every night, he's with Motor City Blightbusters, and he does so much for this community. He went there thinking they were just going to get a pat on the back, that this was some sort of hero show. He was stunned when he found out they were there for the Heroes edition of Favorite Things. How about if we give each person in your audience the brand new, totally redesigned 2012 Volkswagen Beetle? John George is surrounded by dedicated volunteers in his Blightbusters office on Detroit's west side as they watch Oprah's Ultimate Favorite Things Part 2. You might call it the Heroes Edition because people in the audience were selected because of their commitments to their communities. I just learned a long time ago that uh, when you give, you receive. And uh, last week uh, when uh, we were on the show uh, with Oprah, uh, we received. So we're just going to continue to give and continue to do uh, whatever we can to make Detroit better. Oprah gave them lavish gifts, including a new car, jewelry, cashmere, and gift cards. George is keeping the car, but giving most of the gifts away. Uh, the other things I'm going to give away to folks that deserve to have them, uh, people that have given and have volunteered and have supported our work for the last uh, 22 years. Katrina Lewis Hurst was also honored as a hero. Her sister recommended her for the work she does with her daycare, scholarships she gives out, and a program sending needy kids to prom. She showed us her stunning diamond earrings and coach purse. She is humbled by Oprah's gifts. And she's just so humble and, oh my goodness, she's so beautiful, pretty, and just down to earth. And she danced with us and she jumped with us and fed us. You know, just was a, just a nice time. She's a wonderful woman. I thank God for Oprah Winfrey. I imagine a lot of people are thanking God for Oprah Winfrey tonight for all of the good works that she has done through all of her years on television. Katrina was going to have the show on at the daycare, but then she was going to hold her own viewing party about 6.30 after everyone's gone home from the daycare so she and her family could sit down and watch it and enjoy it. But congratulations to them both for all of the work they do in the community, and it's wonderful to see Oprah give them a pat on the back as well. Reporting live, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action. News. You know, that's the neatest thing about the show is yeah. that she, she gives those things to people who deserve it and who give themselves. Yeah. So, great.